Good evening and welcome to day three of the European Transplant and Dialysis Games. On this beautiful evening, we are here at Blenheim Palace to live stream the five kilometer run. In a moment, we're gonna be heading down to the track to try and chat to some of the athletes either before or after the race. We can see all the athletes assembling down here. Lots of different European countries. Let's see who we can chat with. Yeah, my name's Richard and this is my third or fourth games. I photographed the British Games, the World Games, and as a result of that, Paul asked me to come and do the European Games. Oh, brilliant. And what's it been like so far, your experience on this one? Absolutely fantastic. It's, it's completely different having the international people here, seeing all the groups interacting with each other, and also different having the dialysis athletes here who've got their own challenges, which is humbling to see, let's say. I can imagine. Well, I'm going to let you get ready to photograph yeah, the yeah, start of the race. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Hello. Who are you here to support? Um, we're... I'm Elijah. Hello, Elijah. Lovely to meet you. And Thea. Thea, hello. I'm Annika. Hello, Annika. Lovely to meet you all. I love your flags. Who are you supporting today? Uh, we're supporting Rowan. Team GB, Rowan. Uh, Brilliant. I think he's number three. Mummy. Oh, Mummy used I to I think run. he's number 304. Okay, Rowan from GB running either number three or four. Do you think he's going to win? Uh, yeah, he's one of the faster athletes. Is he? Brilliant. Well, we'll certainly be cheering him on. I think they're about to come down. Yeah, yeah he's number four. Number four. Brilliant. We'll yeah. look out for number four. Yeah, he's also run before at. Um, Newcastle. Oh right, in yeah. another game? In the parks yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. He also yeah, does the football. Fo fo Fia's going to do the football as well. Are you going to run along the side? Uh, we're only going to run along the side for the draw. Just the first bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah a bit far otherwise. Yeah. yeah, we'll enjoy it. See you later. We will. Bye. 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 We're going to get everyone to count down the time. We're going to start now from 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Good luck, ladies. Let's give them a bad turn, ladies. So, so we can see uh, straight away that we've got a couple of decent athletes out there at the front who are well, almost sprinting, aren't they? They're bender. I did hear a little rumour that we have an athlete who's capable of around about 16 minutes. So, uh, it, it all made us say, oh, turn on the bike's going to struggle to keep up with him. We can see him going here, can we? Yeah? I believe that might be Salim. I think that might be Salim, but he's been chased by two of them. He's not going to get it all very well. If he does five four in 15 minutes, that would be fantastic. That would be tremendous. That's the sign of a very decent athlete. That's, uh, that's all around the class. I think that's where you might be an international fly athlete. So, well, we'll see. We'll see what it comes back here for the time is on. Started on his first lap, and the ladies are just getting up to the top of the road. They're being shadowed by our, our other cyclists, who make you feel that uh, nobody is feeling really bad and about to lose any help. So he's just sweeping up, as we would say, making sure that everyone's okay. Thank you. So our leader at the moment is coming up to level 2.3 in the market. He's about halfway around the first lap. And the first lap is about 2,500 meters or thereabouts. So he's on about 1,400 meters already. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll just see what the clock's showing. It is showing 2 minutes 13. So it's about 1,000 meters. 2 14 is pretty quick. If you've been watching the European Championships uh, this week, They'll be struggling to do a thousand in that, just about. Let's turn this clock round so we can see, I think. Okay.
many of you will be taking your taking the times and her runners, I'm sure. But uh, it'll be helpful if you do take your time because they have to look to the left as they cross. We'll try and point it out to them in case uh, they don't have their stopwatch with them or they're not using their phone. But if you have an athlete who's out there and you happen to start your phone when they started, then it'll be handy if you take your time. What do you think of Ben and Paris? What do you think? Great, yeah? How about someone from another country? Who, uh, who's, who's got here from Italy? Italy, they must love something like this. Italians, what do you think of that? That house? Fantastic. And the part is used that the response actually goes and right on the other side as well. It's a massive estate. Very mistake. It, it, it's special. But you won't get a better view than that when you're running. So that is a really special view. Uh, Benning Palace is a great place to come. They have all sorts of concerts here. And of course, as a stately home, it is open all year round. No, I didn't. No, I didn't come to the because of the pleasure. Oh, he's on his phone and telling you it's a beautiful park. I'm going to move to a fleet because I speak Italian now. He missed the bus. Well, maybe not. I said, phone up the transport. Well, I wonder if Arlene Cyprus has managed to keep up with our lead runner. Right. Right. Good out for I think we're out of breath by now, that's for sure. I need to level up the camera. We, we should have been helpful to him. We should have been one of that. Where is electric bike, Julie? Put it on there. Right, okay. Now look up there, look up there. This is the busiest summer for you. Uh, look over there, that's what it's really like. <laughs> but we have blue skies, if we appear a bit of blue sky with them. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really Hello, would you mind telling us about your involvement with the Transplant Games? Uh, yes, myself and my husband, we're volunteers and uh, we've, got we've got a connection with the Donor, donor Family Network, which are a family uh, who've um, uh, got connections with people that have donated. Oh, I see. So we're very passionate about the event. It's obviously a showcase for people that have had donations. And we come to all the transplant sport events and uh, we just help you know, take photographs and spread, help to spread the word. What have been some of the memorable moments so far over the first three days? Um, I think really just sort of listening to stories, I think that is the big thing about it, it is um, listening to people's stories and you know all the, all, all the triumph over adversity so to speak, so that is one thing and also seeing how all the athletes mix with each other and, and um, you know help to spread the word about an organ donation. Absolutely and what has been different about this game so far for you? Um, it's quite different, but usually we, tra we cover the British transplant games and it, it's very different having the different, na different nationalities and even though some of them have got different languages, they seem to overcome those difficulties because obviously they've all had very similar experiences. So it's very, very positive. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have to bear in mind I'm sure who has assistance with that, who's machine reader. And here come the runners and they are flying! They are flying! Hey. Number 14 is Marcel Lepic. He's 50 seconds away. For England and Gita, number 14. The Marcel Lepic is patient. That's great stuff, lads. That's a fast time. 8 minutes 50 for that first lap. We have 100 going to do this. One of yours. <laughs> Hello from the Sweden team. Hello Sweden. You're into some music, yeah? But you're enjoying yourself. You don't have to. That's what it's all about. It's all about enjoying yourself. I can see another group of runners coming now, three together. I can't see if they're 
men or ladies. So there's another group behind them, another three. There's definitely a lady in there. So there's three groups coming through here. Let's go TV. Oh, oh, give them a shout if they go through.
the runner coming through at the moment, who we started early, and she's going to complete just the run lap. She's pushing in the next, maybe the next 30 seconds or so. It's Sophie from the GB team. But we have another one for now. Going to be a in that car. Well done, well done. The Sophie from the GB team is on extremely well. The staff are just as well as everybody else, but she's just going to go for the now. Well done, Sophie. Good job. Well done, well done. Runner. 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 So we look over the side now. I can see everybody on the other side of the lake now on the far side there. The bike's going past already, I hope. And I can see a white shirt. Another GB runner goes through. Well done, GB. So you can see the man on the other side, the runner going up the hill. He's halfway on his second lap. Well done, Sophie. 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 They would know the second lap after having done it once, they would know what's happening. Yep, here comes our uh, chapel with uh, the Charles Wesley. So, two things to go around on this side. And it's an official now. Number 5093, well done, well done. I fell Maybe, maybe, that's right. 
Charlotte Douglas. Hi Charlotte, well done on a brilliant race. Oh, thank you. What goes into training for something like this? Um, so for me, I've been following kind of a plan that I set up on my watch, so it's just an app that kind of gives me a bit of a schedule to follow. Um, but I am starting a running club, um, so I've been to a couple of sessions over the summer, but I'm starting it uh, in September properly. So that's amazing. I think I'll probably get a bit more of a training schedule together officially. Okay. And what led you to take part in the transplant and dialysis games? Um, so after I had my kidney transplant, um, one of my family members um, knows someone who's took, took part in them before and she told me about them and I'm always keen to kind of challenge myself and do something new so um, I've really enjoyed the experience. So this is my first um, European Games. Brilliant. And I did the first British ones in the summer, so I can't wait to just do more of them. Great. Well, you're truly inspiring. Oh, well thank done. you. Have thank a great you. Evening. Thank okay, you. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Very good, very good. Very well done. Isn't that true, ladies? You like to have an English that a French man speaks English. Sounds a little bit sexy, right? Well done. Finish that. Finish that. Oh, well done on a fantastic race. How are you feeling? Uh, thank you. It's uh very hard for me, but I do it. <laughs> Brilliant. And is this your first game? Yes, it's the first uh, time of my life. <laughs> and how have you found the experience? Uh, sorry. Uh, what did it feel like to take part? Uh, I am very happy uh, to be a part of these games. Yeah. Amazing. Well, you did fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Well done. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And what led you to take part in the transplant and dialysis games? I'm one of the kidney doctors actually at Oxford. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so I, I, we've been helping kind of with the organisation and things. Uh, Paul Harden's one of the consultants there, so he kind of roped us all in as well so yeah it's been really good fun yeah and is this your first game it's the first involved? games that i've kind of been involved in yeah since i've been a, a kidney doctor it's been yeah that's really good fun and yeah. are you taking part in any other events well the 5k i thought was <laughs> that's enough for me i think yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. and um, how did it feel running alongside well it was amazing actually uh, i mean it's great to see what transplant does it changes lives yeah um we recently actually did a uh, a cycle from London to Paris to raise money for the Ukrainian contingent to be able to come over since they've been kind of displaced yeah. and uh, just seeing how much transplants change lives is amazing and that's it's, you know you feel quite proud to be able to kind of run alongside them and see what they can do outside the hospital setting and things like that and absolutely yeah, brilliant great. well well done for all your work yeah, we are truly grateful for everything you do no, thank you thanks Cheers. very much okay. bye yep uh, yeah. Hello. I'm, hello. I'm, I'm, I'm the president of the Transplant Sport Italy. Oh, amazing. Yeah, How long have you been involved with the games? Oh, it's very, it's very, 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 very good. I'm very enjoyed to stay here. Yeah. How many athletes are represented? Yeah, but 29 athletes. 29? Yeah. In many, we have volleyball, then we have a team of football, then a cyclist, we have a athletics. Yeah. Many, many, many. Swim. Just in the, this morning we have one gold medal in the swim and in tennis with uh, Martanizzo. So the Italians are very busy this week. Yeah, yeah, it's very busy. <laughs> Great. It's important is to, to speak about uh, transplantation and donation. I'm also a surgeon. 
okay. uh, transplant surgery mm -hmm. in Italy. Yeah. Then it's, maybe this is important just to, to be here. It's a great way sports, to raise the, awareness. Yeah. yeah. And really inspiring to see as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Helen. Helen. Brilliant race. Well done. How do you feel? I bet. I bet. It was quite a hill up to the palace, wasn't it? Yes. Wasn't a flat course. Had you set yourself a target time-wise or um, just to finish it? Uh, no, I had set a target but I was well over that because I didn't expect the hills. So yeah. It was a lot hotter tonight. It's really muggy this evening. And what led you to take part in the transplant and dialysis games? Um, well, I, I just love exercise. Um, I, ha I, I used to run half marathons and then I collapsed and found out I got a heart condition. And now I've had a transplant, I'm back running. Brilliant. Back at my old running club. And, and, That's yeah. amazing. How many years ago was that? Um, I collapsed when I was 17. I had my transplant eight years ago, so I lived with heart failure for about 20 years and then got my transplant and, and back here. Yeah. Well, you did so well. Congratulations. Have a great evening. I will. Thank, Thank you. Much. Okay, uh, I was a donor about a year ago and um, uh, I've not run since I was at school back, you know, Second World War, and uh, so I thought I'd, I'd take the opportunity to get fit and run in this race. Um, and it's been a good incentive to get me active again. I've done a lot of walking and cycling, but I haven't run for many years, so uh, okay. it's been a good to have a target to get me running again. Absolutely. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a bit too hot for me. I, 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 I live in Scotland, oh, and right. this is a bit hot for me. <laughs> it's a muggy night. It is. It's hot and muggy, and, and quite, quite, quite a healing course, too. By the hilly course. How did you go about training? Uh, I did the couch to 5k. Uh, I started in March, did the couch to 5k, and then I've done about five or six park runs. And, and hopefully I'll carry on. I mean, when it gets when it gets dark, cold, windy, wet, I don't know, but I'll, I'll hopefully carry on into the winter too. I'm sure you will. And uh, are you watching more of the games this week? Yeah, I'm, I'm staying till Friday, and um, I'm, I'm doing some jobs and volunteering. But I've been watching some of the uh, some of the tennis and swimming and darts. Brilliant. Yeah. And what's been a highlight for you so far? Um, Maybe doing this race. <laughs> uh, probably. I, I, no, I think the highlight has actually been meeting people from all over Europe, all over, all over Europe, and just uh, you know uh, hearing some fantastic stories of some really, really tough, t tough stories of people you know on dialysis and then their life completely changes on uh, with a transplant. Yeah, amazing. Well, thanks to people like you as well who are able to have these games. So thank you and have a great evening. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Hello, so you're the youngest athlete from Germany taking part in these games? Yes, that's true. Wow. How do you feel after running 5K? Oh, it was great, hard actually, but I'm so excited that I finished and I'm, I'm so happy with the time as well. Well done. What was your time? I'm not quite sure. I think it was near the 20 minutes. Brilliant, that's really yeah. impressive. And what led you to take part in the games? Oh, um, I, well, I've met a um, um, woman and she told me about the games so um, I trained a lot and I've participated, uh, participated in many games already. Oh okay, so, yeah. so what number games is this for you? It's the third, so I've participated in the uh, World Games in 2016 I think yeah. and then in the uh, European Games in Sardinia and this is my second of European Games. And are you enjoying the game so far? Yeah, it's so nice here and right. the surrounding for the 5k is amazing. It's beautiful here. Yeah. A few too many hills, but yeah, yeah. very nice area. <laughs> yeah, great. there's some hills, but I think it's uh, you can manage it. Yeah, well, congratulations on a great run and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>